Uh, welcome to another video. This is Danny Garcia versus Lamont Peterson. Uh, fight uh, pr um, prediction. Uh, sorry about the lighting. Uh, for, for some reason, this um, my room has become quite orange. So I apologise for that. So yeah, uh, this fight review is to do with the upcoming fight, uh, which is scheduled, I think for, I think May. I think if I'm correct, and, uh, write in the comments down below um, if you think that's correct. Um, but anyway. Onto the fight. So um, a few days ago, it's been confirmed that Danny Garcia and Lamont Peterson will face off against each other um, for the uh, undisputed uh, like welterweight um, championship. Uh, Lamont Peterson is the IBF champion, and Danny Garcia is the reigning WBA, WBC, and also Ring Magazine like welterweight um, title holder. Uh, <clears throat> this fight is interesting, but I, I do feel it's come a bit too late as. If this was in uh, 2012, this fight had a lot more meaning as Danny Garcia um, was uh, just come off a great ring as Amir Khan and I think he fought uh, Edwin Morales as well later on in that year, if I'm correct. Whereas Lon Peterson was still RBF champion and I think he beat, I think it was Ke uh, Kendall Holt, if I'm correct. Um, so obviously the two, um, they were fighting quite regular and they are both uh, big names in, in America. Uh, 2013, I'll go back and uh, Lamont Peterson fought a catchweight fight against Lucas Matisse, who Danny Garcia did beat uh, in 2013. Uh, Lamont Peterson got knocked out um, quite easily by uh, Lucas, Lucas Matisse. And I remember I read an article a few, this is back in 2013, uh, an article about Lamont Peterson, about like how his credibility or like his um, stamp as a true champion, um, as RBF champion, uh, kind of lost a lot of his uh, recognition. Uh, obviously, that's up people's opinion, and I think he's correct in a in way because when you're, if Lamont Peterson had faced Andy Garcia and beat him when he was just beat Amir Khan, um, then he would have been obviously undisputed champion, and he would have been seen as oh the best fighter in 140 pounds because he's beaten Danny Garcia, but because he didn't fight him and for whatever happened negotiations wise, he looks like he's carried on to his belt quite easily, which is like a um, paper champion if you want to call it that. So when this fight has been announced, um, I mean I'll watch it I and mean, it'll, it'll be a great fight to watch but I think Danny Garcia will win this quite easily because uh, he's been fighting better people um, since he's won these belts with Amir Khan. I mean lately he hasn't been amazing fighting weak people like Rod Salka and uh, I think that's Herrera. Even though he did beat him, he looked quite poor in that fight. So Danny Garcia is a big win and I don't think Fighting Lamont Peterson um, will make uh, hardcore fans really think anything different of the Danny Garcia. I mean, he has a world title fight, all belts on the line, but to me, it's just a paper, paper title. When, when really Lamont Peterson uh, doesn't be really, technically, he, I think we should have lost it in the catchweight fight, but then again, he wasn't on the line. So I think Lucas Matisse should be the champion, but as always, in my opinion, it doesn't work like that. So. I mean, yeah, it would be a great fight because Peterson is still a great fighter. I'm not trying to like say he's, he's a poor fighter. He's, he's still a really good fighter. I mean, he's been like, like Amir Khan, uh, Kendall Holt, I think, as well. Uh, lost like the same Bradley, who's obviously a world-class fighter. But because he's been knocked out by Lucas Matisse, who obviously is a big puncher, but then Danny Garcia's beat, it kind of shows the difference in uh, ability. Because in, in my mind, if Danny Garcia is beaten, who was seen as one of the best fighters in the 140-pound division quite comfortably, and the person he beat, he's going to face beforehand. He should win this easily, but obviously it doesn't always work that, like that in boxing. Uh, yeah, I think Danny Garcia is uh, too powerful. Possibly, maybe got an edge in speed, but obviously that's, that's up to people's uh, opinion. I mean, uh, Lemon Peterson is a strong, uh, good technical fighter, but I don't think he's got uh, the best chance you know, to clear the evidence against Lucas Matisse. Danny Garcia obviously hasn't got the power that Lucas Matisse has, but. Um, he still can throw a mean left hook, uh, clearly evident in the Rod Salka fight, two damaging hooks to Rod Salka's head and the first one set him up for the second one and he got flattened with one massive left hook. So that thing it has improved, but I would like him to see him, I would like him to face see him face, sorry, better people. Um Amir Khan if he jumps out to division rematch, that'd be a great fight. Tim Van Bradley, um someone who has a whole holds like a big name in America. So like fighting on one Peterson maybe a few years ago would have been good, but now his name doesn't really hold a lot of weight. Uh, if Danny Garcia uh, comes for this fight, which I think he should do, like I just mentioned, I think he should um, 
go up to one foot uh, what work division, try and f get the bigger fights like Amir Khan, uh, Sim Bradley, possibly Devin Alexander. I mean, yeah, really poor in the last one is Amir Khan, but I still think that'd be a great fight because he's going against a um, top welterweight um, in obviously in in the weight class. If Lamont Peterson wins, then obviously that could be a whole different story. I mean, he'll have every single belt. I think Danny Garcia would probably ask for a re immediate rematch because he doesn't look good losing all your belts in a massive fight. So obviously, I think my, in my mind, Danny Garcia would have, go for an immediate rematch and to try and reclaim all the belts. But like I said, I think Danny Garcia will win this fight because he's, um, he, I think he's the better fighter of the two. He's more powerful. Um, he has faced better people, but that's up to that's up for debate. But it's still been an interesting fight. Lamont one Peterson's always a good fight. Whenever I've watched him, the few times I have watched him, he's always been interesting. Uh, he has a ton of heart, um, good technical fighter, and I think it'll be an interesting fight. Uh, write down what you think in the comments below, and like and share as well, um, as people have been doing always. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.